Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. Angel Tussie, Eric Raymer, helping you get your business right. You know, and I think as business owners, we often have our plans all laid out. We're very methodical. We're very organized. We set our goals. We know exactly where we're going and what we're doing. But what happens when you follow your heart instead of the path that was laid out before you? That's the question from our next guest, Ruth. She says until late in her senior year in high school, it appeared as if her life was laid out before her. The small town, straight laced Southern girl was recommended for a scholarship that would make it possible for her to follow her dreams of going to college and becoming a teacher. But something different had a, her heart actually had a different plan in mind for her. And she wrote all about it in her book, Matters of the Heart, The Early Years, which is the first in a series of memories. And she actually wrote it under a pen name, Rachel G. Carrington. But Ruth Claxton says, my life changed because of a tiny wad of paper. Ruth Claxton, welcome to Experience Pros. Ruth, are you with us? Yes, I am. Oh, very nice. Uh, Ruth, what, what is this tiny wad of paper that changed your life? You start, let's start with that. Okay. A paper wad uh, that worth like, like a spit wad like at school that we would... <laughs> I hated to call it that, but that's exactly what it was. Did, did a boy do that to you? And, and do I need to go rustle some feathers here? <laughs> no, uh, a boy didn't. It was, he was not a boy. A man did that. Yes, a young man. All right, um, tell us the story. Okay. Anyway, it's a Wednesday night service at our church. And um, in the country, uh, windows were open, and there were big beetles flying around and were attracted to lights. And uh, suddenly one, I saw it, hit me in the back of the hair, in the back of the head. And I pulled it out, and it was a lot of paper. And um, another one hit me. And one of my friends said, it's a guy on the back row. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, when church service was over, he was waiting uh, along with a friend um, beside his car and asked if he could walk, if he could take me home. Well, I wasn't allowed to get in cars. In fact, I wasn't even allowed to date. So I was only 16. And um, I said, no. And he said, well, can I walk you down the street? By then, I was already walking down the street myself. And I, I didn't answer. And my sister was with me. And she said, tell him, yes, he's good looking. <laughs> well, <laughs> and then um, when we got ready to turn the corner and that we'd be out of his sight, she yelled back, she said yes. <laughs> so All right. That, well, that started my story. Okay, so Ruth, what your book? What, what do you want our uh, our listeners and your readers to take away from your book? Well, if you want something bad enough, and you pray a lot, you, know, you trust in God. It may happen for you, and I say it may happen because I'm, my my story is unique in the fact that most of the time it doesn't happen. But I met this young man who was a very devout Christian man, um, a good person, who had returned home from the Navy to find his marriage in a shambles. I was 16. He was 25. Mm. Those things don't happen today. but. Um, during that time, of course, as soon as my parents found out, it wasn't going to happen to me either. Mm. But by that time, we were pretty much um, settled in the fact that we wanted to be together. And how did your parents react to that? Well, of course, divorce was a no-no. Divorce was something that we didn't even accept in our family. and. Um, being with a, uh, marrying a divorced person was just not done. Did it work out okay? I mean, did you guys end up getting a divorce too? He got it. No, <laughs> he got his divorce from, he was married. He had two children mm. he, uh, and he found his marriage in a shambles when he came home. But um, we met, we had a lot of difficulty uh, in being able to be together from both sides, from his uh, estranged wife, and from my family, 
she would go to them. She even went to my school uh, to to try to get them to stop. And I had never been in any trouble. In fact, I was a very meek and mild young girl who uh, uh, always did what was right, even though sometimes my parents uh, would have rules I'd question because they didn't make sense. But most of the time, I followed the rules. I did just what was right. But when I met him, that changed. That changed a lot. everything. Your heart, your heart took you on a completely different path. Well, this I is a went. first of many books, right? This is going to be a, a series of memoirs. The first book is called "The Matters of the Heart: The Early Years." Ruth, how do you want our listeners to get a copy and maybe even follow you so they get notices or or can follow when the next books come out? Okay, um, Amazon sells my book, and so does Barnes and Noble online, the online bookstores. Um, and it, my book is actually under a pen name, so it, um, my name w- will not be on it. It's, the pen name is Rachel G. Carrington. Why did you do that? The pen name? I thought it's privacy reasons. Okay. For one, um, I, I reveal things that were, could be embarrassing to people. Okay. Okay. Uh, most of them are, I'm not even certain if the person that I am most was worried about is still alive. Sure. Um, well, so I really did not want to embarrass anyone. And that was the main reason was um, his ex-wife. I did not want. Of course. Okay. R- Ruth, don't you worry about a thing. Whatever you do, just don't take this story to radio. Uh, <laughs> aside from that, we'll be fine. Um, yeah. The book. I'll make sure I. Get it to radio. <laughs> there you go. The book is called Matters of the Heart, The Early Years, written by the uh, the author Rachel G. Carrington. And, uh, you yeah. know, everybody loves a great love story. How long uh, have you and this uh, young man uh, connected and, and been together before he unfortunately passed away? First, I want to correct you on the oh. name of the book. The uh, name of the book is Early Years. Oh. The uh, Matters of the Heart is the series name. I see. I see. The Early Years. All right. Good deal. Book one. My, uh, If my husband had lived uh, last week, we would have uh, celebrated our 70th anniversary. My goodness. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. And Ruth, thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. I know so many people, we wonder whether or not it's worthwhile to follow our heart or do we stay on that path that's been so predetermined by our family. We don't want to hurt their feelings, but follow your heart, follow your heart. Ruth, thanks so much for being with us today. Well, thank you. Absolutely. Folks, don't go anywhere. More positive business talk just ahead. You're listening to Angel Tussie, Eric Raymer. And this is the Experience Pros Radio Network. For the archives of this broadcast and all the shows that we do, go check out experiencepros.com. Click on the radio tab, and that's where you'll see the archive button. We'll be back after these messages. America's hope. 